Welcome to Zombie Army 4 Dead War, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm going to show you where all the collectibles are for Mission 5 Rotten Coast. Now remember to hit that like button and subscribe to help support the channel. Alright, so I'm going to show you where all the documents, comics, zombie hands, upgrade kits, and heroic actions are in Mission 5 Rotten Coast. Now in the pinned comments, I will have timestamps for the beginning of each chapter. Since there is no map, then please check out the top left corner of the screen to see where I'm at in the mission. I will be in and out of this video at certain points to explain more. Alright, so this is the start of chapter 2. You'll be able to find this comic right around the corner from where you start. Alright, so right after this cutscene with the suicide commander, there is a bunch of collectibles around the area. But what's most important is the heroic action. I went and got the document because I saw it on the map. I would wait and get that later. What you want to do is head over to the tower and you want to defend it and keep the guy alive. When you get to the top of the tower, there is a rocket launcher that you can use and take out the tank as quick as possible. And then you just need to survive the horde. By doing so, you would then get the heroic action. The reward for that is the upgrade kit. And then there's three other collectibles that you can get around the area. But once you clear out all the zombies, you'll be able to search for anything. We're not too much trouble. Hey, we're going to just the thing. That's the thing.
All right, so this is the start of chapter three. Just follow the path all the way down to the end and you'll see the comic. I just had two, but it's not too late. If you can get to the tower before the planes arrive, we can still make contact with Shrider. Head for the ferry, so we can... All right, so from the comic and after surviving the waves of zombies, you're going to continue on with the main mission. Go underneath this bridge, then stop, turn around, look up, and you'll see the zombie hand. This upgrade kit is in the same area as this communication disc, just off toward the right into a building. All right, so this is the start of chapter four and you'll get introduced to this chainsaw zombie. After you defeat him, you'll be able to continue on with the main story and then right around the corner from that is your upgrade kit. All right, so our last three collectibles is in this area with the blood fountain. Just make sure you get them before you go and activate it. This way you don't have to worry about them at all. But other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. And I will see you next time.